Hi, Dick Rochford here. Just a little weather event around us. Uh, nothing serious, although there is some uh, areas of heavy precipitation and, and uh, some lightning. Um, so the way to get get this done is to use the radar, of course. But uh, we're now working our way clear of everything. Uh, coming out of Des Moines, we passed the sky here. Silverhawk 20, Chicago Center, Roger. Uh, off to our right. Uh, some of the remnants of that are still out there. But the trick is to use all five weather tools in concert. And they are, of course, next ride. Radar. You're clear direct to kicker. Both the horizontal and the vertical views. Direct kicker, sky is 3555. So we want to paint this down. United 263, cross it really Seahawk doesn't matter what uh, altitude or what normal airspeed. the pitch attitude of the aircraft is. What you want to do United is paint down, Chicago Center, 133 touch that the outer quadrant is painting the ground. Bye-bye. The obvious question I get all the time is, how do you know that's ground? And the answer very simply is, it's like a flashlight. I know ground because Chicago, I know what the ground looks like. Four, flight level three, three, zero. But if you don't know that, at 1384, Chicago Center, welcome. take the bearing pointer. Level three, one, zero. You can resume normal airspeed. Descent flight level and three, put one, it zero, normal airspeed over something that uh, that you think might be weather. Works for me. All right, so once we're painting the ground and we have the lover line covered with a bearing pointer, we switch the view to vertical profile. Then it was got to 48035 level 29. And we note with interest that this vertical paint Chicago Center, Roger. is symmetrical top to bottom. So here's the little airplane over here. So the radar is slicing through the area of sky right in front of us. Central aircraft has this weather convection. Altitude 1000 to go. Currently for Illinois, Missouri, Iowa, Kansas, Nebraska. Valid until 2255 Zulu. Available on HIWAS flight service frequencies. Since this paint is symmetrical top to bottom, we know that there's no rain in front of us. We know that also because we got the Mark 1 eyeballs looking outside. All right, so radar, next rad, then data link lightning, and storm scope. The advantage of the data link, just like the next rad, America 1384 across the is at main that it's strategic two, four, and it can zero. show us well in advance what we might be in for. Two, four, zero, American 1384. Endeavor 53. Now if we take that next rad and range out. Center one three four point two five. Have a good day. Three five two five. It's right to you. Bye bye. We can see that Seven, after seven, um, three fourteen five level two seven out. Okay, well, next thirty miles or so, we're going to be welcome. You're clear pretty much free of weather. Altitude 200 to go. And so not much to worry about here from here on in. Storm scope, data link, lightning, next rad. Radar and the Mark 1 eyeballs, those are the tools. What the figure Radar and Storm Scope are real time. Yes, so they're tactical tools. 34 and a quarter. Thank Altitude. you so much, 34 and a quarter. Bye bye. Bye bye. And uh, Data Link, Lightning, and Nexrad are strategic tools that should not be relied on for close in operating. If your radar isn't working, or worse yet, if you don't have one, you can't do this. Your SOP Exigent, standard uh, operating procedure the width about the should prohibit penetration uh, systems at, uh, without color weather radar and storm scope. Exactly at 617. Well, that's it for now. Dick right Rochford, fly safely. But it's going to be in an auto light shop. Train off. It. All right, thanks.